Hey guys, it's John here coming to you with a Disney store review. Here I have for you today Jafar from Aladdin. So let's jump right in and see if he's worth a purchase. Something about Jafar that I didn't know um, when I purchased him. When I was looking online, online pictures, um, even the Disney store online uh, you know, images, um, I always thought that he was stuffed. Like, um, like kind of plastic, has a plastic head, plastic arms, but I just thought the rest of his body was stuffed. Um, what I didn't know is he actually has legs, which is surprising to me because I just I thought he was stuffed really because his body looks, um, you know, not not like Aladdin's. It kind of just looks mushy. So uh, let's jump right in. Actually, um, his face. Oh, Jafar! Look at that face. I think that face is definitely spot on. I love what they did with the beard here. I think that's awesome. Um, there's a side profile. I think it just looks so amazing. I love what Disney Store did with this face. And it even looks like he has a little eyeliner on. <laughs> a little cat, uh, cat wing. What is it called? Cat line. Which is amazing. And look at his big nose. <laughs> I love his face. It just, I think it's spot on. Um, he, clothes wise, he has kind of just a long... Uh, I don't know what to call this since it's on a male doll. Is it a dress? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a dress, but correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know what else to call it. It kind of has this um, black long dress. Something different about Jafar compared to all the other Disney dolls is that he's actually Velcro's from the front, which I think it's kind of strange. But and then if you un undo that, it kind of looks like he has a a sexy slit. And he wants to show off his legs, which I thought was really funny. Um, but yeah, it velcros at the front. He has a belt that goes all the way around and can un unvelcro as well. And um, something else about his outfit is that his shoulders have pointy... Just It's just pointy, <laughs> which is really cool. And he has kind of that collar there. It's really interesting how they did that, actually. Um, he has just long, normal sleeves. It's kind of like a... kind of looks red in the um, camera, but it kind of, in real life it looks more like maroon. He has just black shoes uh, with slits at the back to easily remove it. He has a beautiful cape which is which is attached to his um, actual dress, so it's not detachable. But I do like how it's multicolored it's kind of like the Evil Queens. It's red in the inside, but and then black on the outside. And also, he has a fantastic hat. It has um kind of this fake feather, but it actually does look pretty good for a, you know material. And it also has uh, some bling in the middle. The hat is removable, um, but it is kind of sewed into his head on two, both sides but and then you can cut that off if you want and if you want to know he is I haven't cut mine off yet and I don't think I will he is bold so Jafar is bold hey he has a little <laughs> some hair over here um, and the hat also has this little drapey part which I help I guess helps cover his face from the sun the hot desert sun um, I think Jafar is amazing his clothes are pretty um, pretty awesome Articulation wise, he has rotating head, no tilt. He has rotation in the shoulders, um, it can go out. Rotation in the elbows, no articulation in the um, hands, unfortunately. He can sit down if you want him to, but then the dress um, hinders that. He has the rubber click knees, but as I said in many of my other reviews, um, the male rubber click knees aren't as good as the female ones so it's just it's really terrible and the female ones aren't even that good to begin with so it's really sad but a good thing about the male ones they do stand on their own without um, a stand so you don't need a stand if you have the male princes or even the male villains they they stand pretty well on their own, their own. some of them do need kind of just adjusting but they can eventually stand on their own um, I think Jafar just looks so good. Uh, I highly recommend him. 
even if you're not a big fan. Like, I, when I was, when I bought it already, and then I was, I was still like, oh, he's coming, I'm, I, he'll be cool to co um, complete my collection. But then now I have him. He's just so amazing. And he's so much bigger, comparison-wise. Um, his hat just makes him look so much bigger, which is awesome. Because in the movie, he is a big guy. Like a tall man. And I love the expression he's giving. He's giving everyone some... Just an evil glance. Evil stare. So that's Jafar for you. Stay tuned for my next review. It will be... Uh, Mother Gothel. Okay, see you guys then.